Hi everyone, this is Emily from Shea Design Studio. I'm going to show you my new project, which I tentatively call it Pacific Dragon for now, before I can think of a better name to name the soap. This is actually my second time doing the soap, because the first time the fragrance oil that I choose actually speed up the trace on me and I couldn't do the swirl that I was planning to do. So this is a take number two already that you're seeing. This project is actually inspired by Chinese New Year. Um, this year, according to the Chinese calendar, is Dragon Year. And the associated element is water. So this year is Water Dragon. Water Dragon's lucky colors are teal, of course, and silver. Um, the lucky gems can be sapphire or amber. Um, I use those color combinations to design this soap. I'm going to do ITP swirl on the bottom. As you can see, I already poured in the silver and some white into a pot of teal colored soap. Then I give it a little stir around the pot and you will see me try to pour into my slab. I was a little disappointed at the color contrast between the teal and the silver. It looks like it doesn't have any and it's very close in shades. We will have to see when I cut the soap to find out whether or not the teal and the silver uh, do have any contrast in them and make enough for the swirl or they simply just mix each other together. When I do ITP swirl, I usually pour into my mold uh, at a specific spot and just let it flow um, and fill up the whole space. I was never satisfied with that kind of pouring technique because the patterns is not as random as I wanted. So this time I actually wiggle it left and right, up and down, hoping I can get a more random patterns uh, to represent the movement of the dragon in the water. And you just saw me pouring some more white into the mode and also use a skewer to draw random um, circles around and now I'm just trying to flatten the surface a little bit because I'm getting ready to pour the top layer which is white. One problem I found pouring up high into the slab is that I trap too much air bubbles into the batter. I have to shake the mold, uh, drop the mold, slap it on the counter, just try to get some bubbles out from bottom and I have to use the skewers to poke open some of the bubbles that surfaced to the top. It's kind of annoying, but I have to do what I have to do. Now what you're seeing is me mixing the uh, sapphire blue color, and I'm going to fill that into a small bottle with a pointy um, mouth opening. Sapphire is one of the color I'm going to use and the other one is amber and what you're seeing is me putting the amber colors into another bottle. The sapphire and the amber colors soap that you just saw me pouring into the squeezable little bottles are going to be used for um, at the end when I'm going to do a swirl that I think somebody called the little heart swirl. What you do is you squeeze a little dot on the surface and then you take a skewer and you draw through it to make it look like a little heart. When I was pouring the sapphire color soap into the little squeezable bottle, I realized that I made a little bit too much. So I used it on the bottom portion uh, just so I don't waste the soap because at the end I know I will have too much of the same color. When I do the layer soap, I usually will pour really gentle on the top because I don't want the top layer to be sinking down to the bottom and destroy um, what I already have done. It usually helps when you pour the soap batter onto a, the back of a spatula or a spoon then onto the mold. So 
it slows down and um, doesn't carry as much force. Now you're going to see me do the top hard swirl. What I did was taking either of the color and just squeeze dots of colors onto the surface of the soap. I'm going to do um, the dual color part, meaning that I'm going to squeeze blue into the amber or amber into the blue dot. Uh, so when I draw the heart through it, it will look like it's two colors. <clears throat> My plan was to make those hard swirls on the top um, look like the dragon tail uh, sweeping across the water surface. I have to say doing the hard swirl is very time consuming. This is the time where I don't mind um, if I can have a second set of hands to help me out squeezing these little duds randomly across the whole surface as it's taking me a long time to do all the duds. <laughs> After done with the dots all over the surface, I took a huge big stick and I just randomly connecting all the dots uh, through um, some sort of curving movement. It doesn't matter, I was just doing it really randomly across the board. All right, I'm going to show you the close-up of the top. I hope you like my um, double colors heart swirled on the top. And this is it. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.